Welcome to the Sunday night broadcast. And uh, I do this every Sunday night at 8 o'clock Spanish time. And uh, if you'd like to join the broadcast, uh, you can do that by signing up via my website, which has a link to Patreon. And it's only $10 a month. And you get to uh, come to the live broadcast, which is a whole hour, and also see all the back broadcasts as well. And if you'd also like to join the Wednesday night chat group, which is a private group, which is on an audio-based platform where we get to talk to each other, uh, there's a link for that as well on my Patreon page. Also, I do one-to-one -one Skype sessions where we can go deeper into things. And uh, I think that's it for now. I'm putting, I'm putting talks on standby for the moment uh, because of things I can't be bothered to go into. <laughs> so what's left when all the pillars in the sacred temple of seeking are pulled down? When all the concepts are pulled down? And even the concept of like, well, there are no concepts and who would have the concepts? Non-dual concepts even, non-dual pillars in the temple of seeking. And there are many non-dual pillars and there are many, many enlightenment pillars. And of course, they're pillars made of ideas and concepts. And those concepts can be examined to find, for, to find out that they're actually just empty and they're just this. And in this, those concepts don't have any solidity they have no foundation. The pillars are just made of air, nothing, made of thought, just ideas. There's nothing in them. One of those pillars is called the glimpse. <laughs> I was talking to a friend about it today. Glimpses. I mean, how do we know what a glimpse is? We hear other people talk about glimpses. I had a glimpse and it was like this. Well, how could you know that an experience there is the same as an experience over there? And how would, how would we know there's, there is an experience over there? We wouldn't know, would we? And what we do is we have an experience and we compare it to what someone else has said about their experience, even though we would never know what their experience would be. And a glimpse is like, um, it's an experience, isn't it? But it's not of anything. It's like, oh, it's an ex a glimpse of this. But how can there be a glimpse of this? It's already this. It's an interesting thing. Most people say, I had a glimpse of what this is like to be without me. Well, this is already without me. Me is this. It's already whole. It's already everything. There's nothing missing. But I, you know, I want to it for it to be without me. <laughs> That's just an idea. There can't be anything but what is. There's nothing outside of it. Right here. I'm not talking about yesterday or tomorrow or last year or next year. Right here. I'm not talking about a world which is beyond what is. I'm talking very simply, basically, that this is what is, right here. Everything else that is talked about in this subject is a pillar in the temple of seeking. Everything else, all there is, is sitting and speaking and Breeze from the fan and the screen, there's nothing else, or whatever else there is there. I'm not talking about something else, something that's missing. There's nothing missing. You see, it's already whole, it can't be anything else. Can you? Can you find anything else? Have you ever found anything else? Have you ever found anything outside 
of what is. Sure, we can go into stories and say, well, this year is different from last year. Well, last year is here as a thought, as an idea. All the ideas and concepts we have just keep us running, just keep us running on the spot and never running towards anything. There's never, there's not running towards, it's running on the spot, not going anywhere. Chasing after invisible ideas, just chasing after ideas. Because where's the reality of that idea? It's not here, is it? It's purely an idea. And we so readily believe someone's idea about what freedom is. This is not to uh, denigrate other people, other speakers, and, and that doesn't matter. Other speakers, I'm not talking about other speakers. I'm talking about right here, just right here. And the ideas and beliefs that we have about there is some promised land, there is something better than this, when all the time life is presenting itself absolutely. It's absolutely as itself, presenting itself as this ordinary life but only ordinary as in because the seeker seeks for the extraordinary it can't see that this is it because this is too ordinary with all its annoyances and all its imperfections but life doesn't care about the imperfections there's, there's, there's no conditions here to life it just is as it is it's not conditional If all there is is what is, then is seeking a separation simply, simply what's happening? Yes, but so is examining it, you see. Otherwise it becomes kind of nihilistic. It means that that becomes... Yeah, it's true, seeking a separation is simply what's happening. But it doesn't mean that we're made of... Well, not that we're lampposts and we can't examine that. It's true, everything that is, it's, it's just beyond comprehension. Because it's no good to say, well, seeking is just happening, so, you know, it's just happening. It's not like that, is it, really? Because before you know it, they'll be like, oh, I'm still seeking. Also, just examining it. Oh, yeah, otherwise it can become a method. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's no method. You can't get to what's happening. <laughs> Who, you know, what would what would what would get to it? What what would that be? It would it wouldn't look like anything. It doesn't look like anything. It's just what is. That doesn't look like anything. There's no special thing here that uh, anyone's missing. If there's something missing, well, what is it? It's an idea. This isn't it. I haven't got it yet. I'm waiting. I hear that a lot. I'm waiting. I'm wait waiting to pop. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Become another method. Becomes kind of the method of nihilism. Is that the word? Nihilistic? Oh, then it doesn't matter. Well, sometimes it does matter, doesn't it? It doesn't matter that it matters, but mattering happens. It's okay that things matter. Because these humans are wild, aren't they? They're wild have all these emotions and all these things, complications that go on. Why not? What's wrong with it?
It's almost hard to even see what's happening. It's impossible to see what's happening. It's it's beyond it's beyond the speed of light. <laughs> beyond it. It's just instant. It, this is instant. Always instant. It's impossible to see. There's nothing to see. Yeah, right? How can we see what's happening? Because trying to see it is what's happening. It's a, it's a complete impossibility. We can have a good go. <laughs> it's like I'm going to write a third book at some point when my editor's ready. And uh, it'll be challenging everything I said in my other book. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with what I wrote in the other book, but uh, challenge Annika. Oh God, I remember that. Because <laughs> believing, believing, um, you know, dogmas and everything is very passive, isn't it? Just going to sit there and believe that someone's got to a place and I haven't. And I'll never get there. But if I wait or have a glimpse or something, you know, what is that? Free fall. Yeah. Just nothing. Nothing to have hold on. No, no pillars left. No dogmas left. It's just... <laughs> just this. There's nothing in it that's something. It's just what is. It's always what is anyway. Yes, yeah, so many question, unquestioned beliefs are held on to. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's true. No me is true or enlightenment is true. It's like where? Where is the truth in it? Like that concept. I'm not there yet. What is that? Is it true? I'm not where? Who's not where? Where is where? <laughs> it's just, uh, it's nothing in it. It's completely empty.